It also put one on my ear. So it's actually kind of detecting and uh, sensing the brain waves. I'm ready. Okay. Hug me. I feel. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's just so crazy. I love visiting tech fairs and events in China. They are like a sneak peek into the future, with jaw-dropping innovations that make you feel like you're stepped into a sci-fi movie. From robots to AI to the latest innovations for health and surgery, China's technology scene is on fire. Have you seen a device that uses brain waves to create pictures? These devices use technologies like electroencephalography or functional magnetic resonance imaging to detect brain activity. Uh, this is a flowering of your mind, visualizing that uh, your brain wave when a person sees someone they love uh, as a flower. The different line generate a flower. If uh, if the line and the flower color is orange or yellow, the me is interesting and like. She's thinking about somebody she loves, and then it will design the flower on the screen using this device, right? Yes, uh, she's thinking the, her work. Oh, this is work? work. Oh. Yes. Can I try? Okay, okay. Okay, I'll give it a try to think about someone I love, and then maybe somebody that caused me stress, and see what are the results. Okay, so I'm, I'm trying to wear this kind of headband. It also put one on my ear, so it's actually kind of detecting and uh, sensing the brain waves. Please type the keywords. Any keyword? English is okay. okay yeah. The device attempts to generate an image reflecting the thoughts of the person that is using the device. This could revolutionize communication for people with speech or movement impairments. Okay, the color is orange and the red and uh, the pink. But what, what does it color mean? Does it have any meaning? Interesting or uh, love, like. And the green one is calmness. Kindness. And then what about the, or the orange? In orange, next? interesting. Interesting. Yes. Ah, so you can actually detect different kind of emotion or reaction of your brain when you think about that person or that, of that situation. Tensu Lab Tokyo's project, Haptics it's a super cool and heartwarming invention that uses technology to recreate the feeling of a hug, even when you're far away from someone. This is Hangtix. It's a, a pair of devices with artificial muscles as uh, that hang your back and uh, with same force as you uh, as you hang them. So you can try it. I can try. It. So basically, it's like a virtual distant hugger. Uh, yes. You can hug somebody on the distance and the other person on the other side can feel it. And, and the well, there you go. So if your loved one is far away, you can get this one and you can hug them anytime, anywhere you are. This is your job. So I'm the person who is far away. I will feel the hug, right? Somebody will hug me yeah, yeah, yeah. thousands of kilometers away and I will be able to feel it. Imagine feeling a warm, comforting squeeze without the other person being physically there. It is a device that uses touch stimulation technology to give you the sensation of being hugged. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Hug me. I feel. <laughs> I'm so oh my gosh, that's just so crazy. And you can look the lines remove if I hug you. Oh my gosh, Every each part of the body she's touched, <laughs> I can feel it. And you can hand this down. Okay, that's the weirdest thing I've ever done. I will hug myself through this device. <laughs> that is just crazy, like I can tickle myself. There you go, so basically how it works, it has different kind of sensors on uh, one mannequin on one side. And the other person has this kind of a vest with also different kind of sensors and it will receive the different sensations that the other person is giving on the other side. And that is just absolutely mind-blowing. Kind of a big uh, suit, but I guess throughout it gets improved, it will get like smaller and people can use it for long distance relationships. Why not? How long did it take you to create this product? I started more several years ago and developed updating. Uh -huh. like, <laughs> so right now somebody can buy this device in near future in, in the near future in near right future. now cannot buy it yet yeah 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 oh, this I is the original one this is the original one yeah 
In China, AI-powered robots designed to detect and connect to the charging ports of electric vehicles are revolutionizing the charging experience. These robots aim to make charging more convenient, especially for drivers with limited mobility or in autonomous EV fleets. So the robot is actually moving and checking where is the point of connection to the charging port of the car, right? It will work with some cameras to identify where uh, to connect it and will just charge by itself. Voice assistants powered by AI in cars are becoming increasingly popular in China, transforming the driving experience by making it safer and more convenient, and of course, better connected. The highlight of our function is that you, during the whole process or executing a task, you do not need to touch the screen anymore, mm -hmm. including actually paying for the order. Right now, on a car, if you want to purchase anything, you need to find your <laughs> cell phone first, as the last step of ordering a coffee, you need to pay for that, right? Yes. So just scan your face here, and you can pay automatically. Do not need to use your cell phone. Wow. So these uh, face recognition cameras are embedded in this car. Yes. Originally, the, this model comes with its kind of technology. Yes. If you're wondering if these technologies will be available out of China soon, here is what they say. This technology will be available uh, abroad in other countries? Uh, at the current stage, not yet. Because we are only working with uh, the domestic companies, car companies in China. But in the future, there is, there is this possibility. We are also talking about some uh, foreign companies which have some uh, business in China, like BMW. Mm -hmm. They are interested with our product as well. But uh, uh, at the beginning stage, they want to try to embed our product in their uh, vehicles that is sold within China. Futuo Zhida Medical Technology has developed a pioneering augmented reality navigation system based on vision tracking algorithms. It enhances precision in minimally invasive surgeries by providing real-time visual guidance. Surgeons can see the module from the via the camera, can, can see it and control the device. With the movement of the head? Yeah, yeah with the movement of the head. It can provide a, a risk reminder or dimension to help the surgeons to understand where the our marker through the interface. Then you can see the distance, if the target aimed or the target reached or the target missed or any vessels or bones. The company is specializing in the development of innovative medical devices and surgical techniques, particularly focusing on early tumor intervention solutions. Normally, uh, surgeons need to do the localization, need the support from the CT technique. If we use this one, we can just do one stop, uh, the whole sur uh, surgery is from the localization to the insection of the uh, lung module, just in the operation room. So we don't need to rely on anyone else. And it's actually being used already, or is the technology still under development? It's already, like, yeah. Doctors are already using this kind of VR headsets yeah. to do surgeries. Yeah, right. It's ready. We have already done over 121 experiments, the trials, the human being trials, clinical trials. We have finished it. Are these technologies available abroad in other countries or it's just in China right now? So far, it's just China. It's just in China. What would you say are the main benefits that this kind of technology can bring to modern medicine? Speed, convenience and also safe. Uh, we do it precisely to help the surgeons to do it more uh, precisely and convincingly. Yeah, they don't need to find the nodules by themselves. They can use our technology, yeah. Speakers in China are used for more than just listening to music. They allow users to make purchases, order food, buy products online, or pay bills just by speaking to them, offering a seamless and hands-free shopping experience. This smart speaker we have right here is working also with Alipay and Tianmao, one of the biggest retail online stores here in China. And it actually uses voice recognition for you to give some instructions to buy some stuff from that specific store. That's super cool because you don't need to use your phone, you simply maybe can give an instruction. Also, it has some kind of special features for people who like uh, some maybe uh, famous singers. It uses the voice of some famous singers here in China to reply to you, maybe also to tell you some sweet stories before sleeping.
上日快乐，祝最棒的你生日快乐，祝你生日快乐。Motion sensing technologies have been making waves in the fitness world, particularly in areas like Tai Chi and Yoga, where precise body movements are crucial for effective practice. This specific technology uses sensors, AI, and real-time feedback to help you practice these sports from home with improved accuracy and guidance. It's wonderful because it uses different kind of sensors to detect the movements of your body and match it with the right way to practice、uh, the Tai Chi. Lovely! I really want to get one of these to have at home and practice.、Uh, not just Tai Chi, you actually can use to make different kind of sports,、uh, perhaps like yoga. The future of motion sensing technologies is promising. As AI, motion capture, AR, and VR technologies evolve, they will offer even more immersive and accurate experiences. For sure, we will see smarter virtual instructors with real-time, personalized feedback that will be based on detailed analysis of our body movements, thanks to these kind of devices. Folks, I'm going to be wandering around nice and beautiful places here in China and documenting about it. I will also be Instagramming my day to day and my trips in this awesome country. Feel free to follow me and leave your comments and impression over there about life in China. I will leave the link to my account in the description down below. Remember to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my follow up stories about what's going on in this part of the world. If you think there might be someone else interested in these kind of videos, please consider sharing. My name is Rafael. Thanks for watching and stay safe until next time.